Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Kyle Can't Game. Uh, leaving off from last time, we had just built the empty shell of the hut. We had tamed Tracy. This time, I want to uh, get the inside of the build done. And ideally, I want to upgrade Tracy. No offense, Tracy. Love you. You're beautiful. You're amazing. Uh, but I did place down the smithy that we had gotten from... That we had gotten from the drop. I want to, and I'm using it just as storage because early game smithies are awesome storage. But I want to see what else I need to make a forge. So I need a uh, hide, which I have, and I need to go collect some stone. That is easy enough. We can do that. So I need 125 stone. Uh, you'll notice by the fact that there is a second video that the game did not crash, roll back, and delete my save file since the last time I played, which is always a good thing. And, uh, you know, no offense intended to, uh, anybody that works at Wildcard, but it needs to be said, in single-player ASA, that is an impressive feat, man. So I am quite happy... So let's uh, let's get this forge placed. That got me a level. That's dope. I guess we can take the little bit of metal we have already. And do we have any wood? No, we used all the wood apparently. Okay. Let's throw this in there and this in there and this in there. Wait. What do I need to repair this pick? Thatch, stone, and wood. Well, crap. Let's go get a little bit of wood. Boom, plenty, well, I guess if we're gonna be working on the forge stuff, we'll get enough wood to light it, right? I mean, doesn't make sense not to. And then I need stone to repair this pick. Give me all that, give me all that. Repair. Why? We'll throw the metal in here, throw the wood in there. Let's get that a cooking. What do we need for the metal pick? Is it only one? Oh, it's only one. Okay, well, we'll run and get a little bit more wood to put in the smithy. We'll get straight to a metal pick, because I was thinking we were going to have to harvest river rocks for an hour to get a significant amount. But if we already have a metal pick walking into it, I mean... Come on, let's uh, get our one piece of metal. Perfect, perfect. Um, ba -bum -bum. There we go. Booyah, first metal tool of the playthrough. Always a big thing, always, always, always. So let's put you down here and we'll put you in here because I know we're gonna die quickly horribly and other adjectives so let's run across here actually i guess we can go right here a couple river rocks see what we can see about some metal give me a rock i want to talk to you about my car's extended metal needs all right uh well this is gonna be pretty boring and i'm gonna go and i'll bring you guys back once we've uh you know Got a decent amount of metal, got it burning up, and do some stuff around the base. You know what? I'm going to deposit this in here real quick. Um, you know, the stack mod, I've never played with a stack mod before. You know what? I better take the rest of these arrows. I just saw that the bow was empty. I've never played with a stack mod before. I This reduced the weight enough that I think we're going to be good to actually go on a real little bit of a metal run over here um and honestly i don't know how i feel about the stack mod you know uh it i didn't know how much it was going to reduce the weight i thought i got the one that said 50 percent reduction which maybe i did but it feels like i'm getting more than that Ooh, another drop that is probably a white green or blue let's grab that real quick and check it out all right, looks like a white, I think. Yeah. 
all thatch building parts. I'll take the charcoal. That's probably all I need from you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't know how I feel about this stack mod. Um, it feels maybe a little OP for me at this juncture. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I might keep it, might get rid of it. I am going to land down here for Stam before we go up on the top of this mountain because if you guys remember, or if you watched my uh, partial ASC series I just started, coming up here for metal and not having Stam on my PT, it ended, ended very poorly for me. R.I.P. Terry, you were an OG. So yeah. Let's drop right up here. I'm not going to get this explorer note. I'm going to wait and get some of these notes after I have a much higher level PT. But I do want to get a couple pieces of crystal. Ooh, I hear a monkey. There's the monkey. What level are you, monkey? 35? Did I tame you with one? Are my taming settings that high? What are you doing? Let me feed you, dude. Are you broken? Why are you not? What was that? Why is this not working? All right, well, I guess we're not gonna be friends. Jerk. What is making all that noise? Is there a Bronto? I know I have my my sound setting's pretty low, so maybe you guys aren't hearing that, but something is incredibly loud right now. 15 will be plenty. Ooh, growling. I don't like that. Is that a Rex over here, or Carno, or what? Oh, it's a Titan. Well, shh. No wonder it's so freaking loud, man. Good lord. All right, let's get... Little bit more metal. We'll take it home, start cooking it up. All right, I'm carrying 362. Oh, it only halves. It is, it does only half the weight. So that's not that crazy. I mean, because the PT still can't carry me. I'm going to have to like monitor how much stuff I'm bringing back. Uh, let's get rid of a little more. Yeah, you know what? I like, I actually, I don't, I don't think that that is that broken it seemed like it was but i forgot that one of the first things i did was get my personal weight stat up to 500 like i forgot i did that almost immediately so yeah this isn't broken at all it's just as i intended it's just gonna make save me a little bit of time and effort which you know is a good thing in my opinion but like more for me, like off cam, you know, I don't think this, this could create many situations that break the game. Like I said, last episode for me, it's more about when I'm not recording and I'm just doing like farming sessions off cam, which, you know, before long we'll have, it won't be such a huge feat to go on a metal run. So I'm not going to record it. Right. But now it's our first metal run. Like it's kind of a big deal. So I want to show it off. But the reason for me adding the stack mod was I just, you know, t making videos takes a long time. Editing videos takes a very long time. So if I can reduce my uh, farming sessions off camera from 40 minutes to 15 minutes, because I can carry more, that's a big boon for me. So, you know, hopefully you understand that. And, you know, if not... I don't know what to tell you, man. Go watch somebody play official, you know? Um, yeah. Not to be rude, but, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get back. We'll cook up this metal. We'll start doing a few things inside base. All right, we're back. We got some metal deposited. A couple things I want to do straight off the get. So first thing, obviously, we need a spyglass. That is, goes without saying, fiber, hide, and wood. Should have all that stuff, no problem. Hide, fiber, wood. 
Spyglass. Yeah. Now, I also want to make... I guess I should just look for this. Look this stuff up. But... Uh, table. I want to make a table. What do I need? Need more wood. Cool. You know what? I can probably... Nope, I only had two pieces cooked. That's not enough for a hatchet, silly Billy. All right, we'll get a little bit of wood. Maybe a couple hundred. Ah, oh, crap. What do you need? Flint. There's flint. And there's our hatchet back. So we'll get a couple hundred wood. Let's head back. Uh, this tree and then one more tree. Whatever wood that is will be plenty for us. I want to make a table, a trough. Uh, let's see, a table and a trough. So, table, one of those. And those take uncooked metal, if I remember properly. Ooh, need more fiber. Story of my life, man. It's a fiber gathering simulator, it feels like. But Ark has always kind of been that. Which, you know, one of the things I love about Ark is honestly is it is the grind. I know that that kind of makes me a weirdo. I don't know what to tell you, man. Not the grind of official. You know, nobody, nobody that plays solo likes the grind of official. I don't think. Or maybe they do. Maybe I mean, you know. Everybody likes different things. And that's the beautiful thing about Ark. No matter what kind of game you want to play. Let's steal half of you. No matter how you want to play your game, Ark allows it. Oh man, I'm so dumb. I had 24 metal on me the whole time that I could have used to make the hatchet. <laughs> oh man, that's, uh, that's funny. What a dummy. Well, let's throw this back in here. Let's make the hatchet. What do we need now? Oh, I took all the took all the resources out of there, and then I'm saying, why can't we build it? Well, that's why, you big dummy. Uh, yeah, definitely want to make a crossbow as well. Can we make a sword yet? Where are you, sword? I know you're not this far down. Sickle, that would help us with the metal for sure. What is this? Oh, desert goggles. Yeah, okay. That's one of the things with the auto engrams. I'm going to be seeing all the scorched earth stuff I can build, and I'm not going to have, you know, anything like able to build it. Um, let's go right here. What I want to put there is a mortar and pestle. And a campfire. So I know we'll need stone, a little bit of flint, probably fiber, probably hide, definitely hide. What am I talking about? Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Wood. Boom. Campfire. Boom. Mortar and pestle. What else? What else can I make? What you got for me there, bud? Water tap. Don't need any of those yet. I'm dehydrated. Come on, Tracy. Take me to the coast. The beautiful island coast. You know, I would totally buy a timeshare on this island. I wouldn't care that it would be terrible for my financial future and my uh, investments. Of which I have none. I mean, I'm a professional cook. We're not exactly in the uh, retirement saving business, if you know what I mean. All right, did I already make the campfire? I did, and I made that. Oh, baby, we're golden. Boom, and boom. Now, Mr. Campfire, do not go burning up my mortar. When I'm making narcotics over here, I don't want to get my hands hot. You heard? Thank you. Thank you for your time and for listening to me. All right, 20 there make some narcotics I love it boom and boom 
what's that, seven or so? Six, not too shabby. Uh, hey, Tracy, I need to steal some of your meat so I can get some stuff going for myself, okay? Listen, we'll get you more. You have what's in your inventory and in the trough. And yes, if you're watching this, I know that when she's on the trough, she'll only eat off the trough, not out of her inventory. But I want her to have some in her inventory, so that way when we go flying around here in a minute, she has it on her. All right, perfect. Little campfire just far enough away from my mortar and pestle. I like it. All right. Narcotics out of this inventory into my inventory. What else did I want to make? I wanted to make a bed. Thatch. What you got, thatch? Oh, I made a hatchet. I never brought it over. I feel like the small aspects of ADHD that are a part of my personality, and I know that it's a very serious affliction, so I try not to, I try not to make light of it. You know, like I try not to casually say that I have it. But there are small aspects of ADHD that I have, like I feel like most human beings. Uh, I feel like those are all just going haywire right now, and I don't know why. It's, you know, it's the beginning of a new arc playthrough. There's a lot of stuff I want to do. And, you know... I guess that's it. There's just, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. Let's build a storage box or cabinet or whatever, whatever you call it, the big boy. I can make one of those only because I'm shy. One wood. Sounds about right. That sounded perverted and I don't know. I mean, I understand why it sounded perverted, but I did not intend for it to. No, I want you to snap. Can you snap? Can you snap the other way? No. Can you snap sideways? I want you to snap sideways. You can't. I don't think you can. Okay. You know, it's fine. Have it your way, storage box. Like it's friggin' Burger King around here. Uh, let's see. Get a little bit of food. Just a little bit of food. Put this down on the hot bar. Put you over there. Put everything over there. Then we'll get my arrows. Boom. Boom. And uh, what else was it that I thought I should bring back? Oh, the narcotics. Yeah, baby. Let's do it. All right, Tracy. Let's go find you a friend. Like a stupid high-level PT. That would... That would be honestly fantastic. Let's find a 150. Let's not find a 150 because I feel like 150s get worse rolls than 135s. Is that just me? Maybe it's my expectations are just so much higher on a with a 150 wild creature. You know what I mean? I feel like most of the time that I'm disappointed, it's because my expectations weren't realistic you know is that too like self-aware dang one 110 what was saying 145 over here that trike wow okay um you're a pt what level are you level 20 mm, i think we'll just let you be for a minute there bruh Let's go around here to where I got my first guy and see what we can see. We'll keep an eye peeled for loot drops. As you saw, they don't have their beam on Xbox ASA. So you have to like really, really keep an eye out for them. But green, let's see what's in here. Give me your greenness. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, that's... That's a hell of a loot drop. Uh, cooked meat. Let me put that on the hot bar. A lot of crystal. 60 oil. That's really big, actually. That is really big. 
Level 15. Okay, so the Calico Theriums are stealing all the high levels, and the Pteranodons are left with not much. You know what happens? Chalies are thieves. We all know this. That's why they throw poop. It's to distract us from talking about what they really are, which is thieves. They steal your stuff so that you spend your time talking about how they stole stuff rather than being upset about what's really going on. But I'm here to pull back the curtain. Oh, let me see your level. Did that say 30? Dude, let me see your level. 30. Well, really makes me wish I could access the INI files and turn that custom dino level mod to Ragnarok <laughs> levels. Oh, man, if anybody knows... Dang, these loot drops, man. Nuts. If anybody knows how to do that on an Xbox, I would love to hear it. Because so far, the fully equalized setting uh, has not been bad to us, but if I could customize it further, I would like that. I don't want to do anything like too crazy, because you can get into the nitty gritty with that. Like You could make it so only level 115 shows up on the map. I don't want to go that far with it, but I do want to get some good boys and girls to be our friends, you know? All right, we're stammed up. Well, listen, we already did the tour of Crags Island. I'm going to co go up the uh, the coast past Red Ob. And we'll bring you back when something worth seeing is going on. Holy moly! Ascendant Packy Saddle, Four Spears... 130 torch. Don't care about that. 161 club. That's going to be great when it's time for us to start getting some uh, some polymer. When we start beating up little baby penguins. And a 140 PT. Oh, baby. We did not have to go far. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to wait for this thing to land. Toss a bola on it. And get it knocked out. <laughs> What level is your friend? 55. Psst. As if. Ooh, here we go. Landing already, I think. Can the Bola King do it? Oh, he nailed it! Cool. Uh, let's see. On a crossbow, should be like three to the head. Maybe two. Oh, just to dope. You know, now I need to find a baby. Need to find me a little baby dino and kill it. Take its body, rip the body into pieces, and then go give those pieces as as an honorific sacrifice to my new pteranodon friend. That is how you honestly make on friends. It's not just giving it meat. It's the act of killing and then the act of mutilating the corpse. Uh, that's, that's actually what Pteranodons respond to in the taming process. But obviously, you know, Wildcard doesn't want you to know that. But I'm here to tell you the truth about this game. So... You know, you don't have to thank me or anything, but you are welcome. Did I just hear a baby dodo? Oh, no, I don't think I did. Oh, I did. There's a baby dodo. Let's go. Come on, stupid dodo. You are mine. Ah, ha, ha. And the act of mutilation. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, man, I like being weird. Okay, let's go feed this to our Pteranodon. Hopefully, no raptors attacked. I didn't have to go that far, but, you know, as you saw, I didn't put up spike walls or anything of the sort. I'll also, when I get when I get back up there, 
I'll show you guys the pre-tame stats because I forgot to check them out as well. All right, here we go. Let's check this out. Uh, 1596 HP, 255 Stam, 187 Weight, 195 pre-tame stats. Holy crap. And here's the real reason I wanted the stack mod. Stacking prime meat, man. I love it. Because, you know, in my opinion, prime meat, maybe, prime meat is easier to come by in ASA than it ever was in ASE. At the same time, whoa, 105 moss chops. What do you want to eat, baby girl? Cooked prime meat. Uh, give me some of that prime back, dude. Yeah, we can make a campfire right now. Um, stone, flint, thatch, wood. Okay, cool. Anyway, so yes, uh, prime meat is easier to get on this game than it, than it was on ASE. I understand that. But like, you know, all those times before you have an industrial grill, when you need to, or you kill an alpha and, and you know, ooh, he's going to eat again right now. Cool. We can take this back. Split it in half. You kill an alpha and you get, say, 40 pieces of prime meat, right? You go back to your base and you need to have, like, 15 freaking um, campfires going at the same time. And it's, like, such a huge manage or process of managing it. Like, two in here. Start it. Two in there. Start it. Go back around. Pull the... Pull the spoiled one out and pull the charcoal out or you can't fit the other ones. You know, it, like, it's just, I don't know. I, I like the grind of arc, like I have said many times, and I will probably say again, but I don't want the unnecessary, unnecessarily, like, painful stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, baby. All right. Let's get you over here. Oh, man, look at the progression today. Moss Chops. Look at your stats. 2475 health, 1080 stam. Holy crap, that's a lot of stam. 300 weight, 273 damage. Wow, okay. Oh, and mine... Shoot, I only wanted to level movement speed on myself. I didn't want it on the dinos because I wanted the extra bonus levels. Well, if I turn that off, will my speed stay where it is? Because I don't want to lose those 10 levels. You know, like if mine reverts back to back to the original setting, you know, I don't want that because then... I would have lost these levels, but I, I want less points to get lost in my dinos, if that makes sense, right? Like, if you don't have movement speed leveled, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are only six stats that can get levels distributed, right? So you have a higher chance of getting a higher roll in each of those six stats than you do in seven stats. And I know six versus seven, you know, it's not very far off. I'm just saying that it would be cool. So yeah, I'll have to look into that. Because if it takes away my 10, it might not be worth it, or maybe it would. Maybe I should wait till I can get a mind wipe and then turn it off and then take the mind wipe. That could be a move. You know, like I said, look at us figuring stuff out. All part of the team. Looking at raptors over here. I better go investigate. Not the moss chops. Feel my 275 melee damage fury. Ah, you're dead. You're gonna die at least. You might not be dead yet. Oh, man. They're pretty strong. 
125 and holy crap okay you guys need to die oh my god oh my god that happened quick That happened really quick. <laughs> what? Oh man, the Moss Chops. I hadn't even named her yet. Oh, Kyle, you are such a jerk. And I had the PT saddle on me, which means those Raptors could be taking out both of our pteranodons, Tracy and the unnamed one. I can't jump on it and fly away. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to run up there and, uh, yeah. Like I've said before, any mistake you make, Ark will make you pay for. You know, like that was a mistake. I should have checked the level first. I should have realized that the Moss Chops, they can hit like a truck. They also don't have a saddle. If I had checked the level first, I don't know. I might have been dumb enough to go for it. Let's be honest. I probably am dumb enough that I would have gone for it. But you never know. Anyway, we'll see you up there. No! No, Tracy, no! Oh my god, and this one's going to die too. I guarantee it. No, we're losing everything. Oh my God, 200 meters away. I got to whistle, I got to whistle it. I got to whistle it. Passive, 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 passive. Oh, do your stupid thing. I don't care. I'm go. God, good Lord. Dude, let me run. What the friggin... Who? How are you? You killed something else, got distracted, and now you're still coming for me? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Really goofed up this one, Kyle. Okay, anyway, you know what, Mr. PT, we have you. We are okay. Let's, we ran all the way here. We can run right all the way back. You're set to passive. We're good. <laughs> screw the bag. I mean, not screw the bag. I'm going to go home, make a saddle, throw it on her. And then we'll probably go back and try to get the bag. All right, here we go. Home sweet home. We made it. Uh, can you land? Can you land? Can you land, please, in somewhere somewhat convenient? Dude, land. Real? What do you want? Oh, my gosh. Don't let the copy in the house, man. Oh, my God. Oh, that would have been terrifying. Metal. Well, we know we have metal cooking up. Cooked up. Let's make a pike first. Ooh, and a sword. I mean, might as well have it, right? Might as well have it. Let's grab the pike out. I need to get some water. I need to see if I have the stuff to make another saddle. I'm almost sure that I don't. Hey, copy. Where'd you go? Oh, you heard I was making a pike and now you don't want none, huh? Uh-huh. I see how it is. Yeah, smart move. I guess you get to live this time. All right, let's go get some water. Um, no. Before we get water... Let's just see if we have any 
Enough chitin to make the saddle, which I'm almost sure we don't. 33, yeah, that's not enough. We're very low on hide as well. But we can make a couple things to help us on our way. Okay. Hi. Man, what a dummy I am. Like, for real, you know? Just, just very, very dumb. I mean, we all know this. Everybody watching the channel is very well aware of this. All right. Got that. Got this. I should probably take the hatchet because I'm going to need to harvest bodies. Okay. You stay here. We're going to name you when we get back, okay? I believe that you're going to live. Oh. Oh, I need water so bad, but I want to stop and get a little bit of food first. A little bit of food. Just the little bit we have. Obviously, I'm not going to stop and get more than what we have. Let's put it down on the hot bar. How long does the bag last in single player? I don't know. I really don't. Uh, are we at a jumping point yet? Yeet. There we go. That's water. Why did I only bring the pike? Why didn't I make a crossbow as well? Oh, I probably need more hide to even make a crossbow. I'm not sure we're taking out a turtle with just the pike, though. You know? Probably could. I mean, we're going to try. Definitely not taking out a trike with only a cro Ooh. Multiple babies. Level 40. Never mind. 140 and I would die 30 times over trying to tame you. Trying to kill your mother. That's the sad reality of Ark, man. I don't... It, I didn't make the rules. 105... Sixty. Ninety. I mean, they're all coming for me the second I touch one of them. Ooh. Even better. Trilobite. Trike, stay away. Trike, dude, out of the way, man. I'm not trying to piss you off. I'm trying to kill this thing. Oh, there we go. Let me harvest you, man. Come on. I did the work of killing you. Oh, that's BS. Oh, what crap, man. Come on. Listen, I killed you. I want to use your skin to ride around on a different thing. Exoskeleton skin. Call it whatever you want. It's all the same to me. Well, that's really annoying. Can I do it with my pike, maybe? Is that like have a different kind of reach? Ah, crap. Wow, who saw that coming? What did I tell you, Mr. Trike? I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. Oh, and it's ASA. You guys are going to be aggroed for the next 40 years. Just, man, come on. It's all love. It's all love, Mr. Trike. Are we cool? Can we all agree? Can we have a ceasefire? Okay, I did not mean to hurt you. I did not mean to hit you. Trying to get my reward for this thing. Oh. 
Is there uh Oh, it's giving me some resources. Come on, I just saw a message. Is there like a drag body button? Dude, are we really gonna do this again? You've got an attitude, man. And you need to adjust it. There we go. Now we're getting more. 49 plus the 33 I have back at home. Guess what? That adds up to more than 75. All right. Uh, more dodos? Can I get another dodo, please? Lystro. Anything that we would consider easy chitin. Hello? Anybody? Anybody home? No? Nothing. Ooh, couple dodos. What is up, you dum dum? Oh, man. What a great joke. What a great joke. All right. A little more. A little more. Love it. What else? Come on. I, if you are weak and can't fight back, I am your worst enemy right now. Let's freaking go. Let's see. It's 132, so should be pretty close because it's 150, right? What is that? Oh, ooh, the new whip model looks cool. I like that. 230, so another 100 to go. Well, I don't want to get too far up in the jungle considering I don't have bolas. Here's a Dillo. Nice. And I got it with the pike, so I barely got any. What a dumb dumb. Sorry. Uh, you will hear my me call myself that every time I make any kind of small mistake. And, you know, it's just... You know, I love myself. Okay, so don't like... Don't worry. I don't need help. I'm fine. I mean, I need a lot of help at this game because I suck. But in terms of like mentally, I have good self-esteem. You don't need to worry. I appreciate the concern. Okay, bye. Well, not bye. Please, please not bye. Stay here and keep watching. Okay, now that we got that sorted. Killed a dodo. Should I just put this hatchet up on my hot bar? For the brief second. Oh, man. Health is going down because I need water. Please don't die like this. Please don't die like this. All right. Food. Get me healed up a little bit. And I'll come down here and get some water. And get killed or attacked or something. What's the weather? 86 Fahrenheit. You know, I live in one of the uh, Fahrenheit freedom countries, of which I believe only one exists. And I got to say, 86, not that hot. Not that hot. You know, you're not going to be overheating in 86. Now, I guess 86 degrees... You're running around killing dinosaurs on the beach wearing nothing but a little bit of cloth. Yeah, I guess I guess 86 might feel a little hotter in that circumstance. If I'm being completely honest, you know, no, I did it with the pike again. Oh. Oh, no. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? Okay. I believe in us. 
I believe. Whoa, what was it? Oh, it was a duck. Man, they make the creepiest sounds. The uh, Hesperornis. Um, bum bum. Listening for dodos is really fun. How much more hide do I need? 48. Well, that would be just... Just a couple of them there dodos. I'll do the trick today, boy. You know what I'm saying? And I heard you. I hear you. Ooh, no. It was a compy that I heard. How much are you going to give me, compy? Is it going to be 48? Well, holy crap. Pretty close. All right. So one more pretty much anything. Um, ooh, little Lystro. Thanks for contributing. Thank you. Hey, Lystro. Mighty nice skin you got there. Be a shame if anything happened to it. Uh, something's going to happen to it, bro. It's going to be... My uh, Pteranodon is going to wear it because my Pteranodon's a f straight freak, man. Did you hear that? You are a... F Why are the copies on you? Is that how you get down? Let me get this saddle. We'll show these copies what, what up. Oh, and I'm going to need roughly 400 million more fiber. Story of my life. Nope, I have enough fiber right here. Never mind, it's not the story of my life. You go, you go, you go. You go, you go. You go. One narcotic, please. All right, compies, I don't know who you think you are, but this is a fresh pteranodon, okay? And I don't need to be losing it immediately. Thank you. All right, so 325 stam. Let's see what, what one level does. 366, not bad. 216 weight, 222, 229. Damn, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Well, um, this might be incredibly stupid, but we're going back for the body, for the bag. That, it more than might be incredibly stupid. It, it, it's dumb. It's early game stuff. It's not like crafted blueprint stuff. I should uh, be like Elsa and let it go. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not like Elsa. I'm, I'm like the opposite of Elsa, you know? And uh, so we're going to try to get this bag back. You know what would have made Frozen a lot better? Mother effing dinosaurs, man, you know? Like, Frozen was dope to begin with, but throw a few dinosaurs in there? That's good. That is good. Ooh, green drop coming down. Cool, something for us to do after we get the body. After we get the body. You know what we do need to do before we get the body, though? We need to name you. What's a good name for a female that starts with T? Teresa. There you go. You're going to be better than stupid Tracy. And, man, like, rip Tracy. For real. It always sucks when you lose your first Pteranodon. And it's normally, for me, about this point in the playthrough, like, five seconds after I decide to go out on it. Where, yeah, we're going to let them just stay right over there. Uh, but, really, man, rip the Moss Chops. Why is my death marker not? How do you zoom on this? How do you zoom on this? Left trigger, zoom out. 
right trigger zoom in. Where's the bag? There's the bag. That was pretty quick and easy to find. Or is that the Moss Chops bag? Ooh, Death Essence. Cool. I don't care. No offense. Don't have an Oasis Sore, so not much to care about there. That's the PT's bag. That's Tracy's bag. So where would mine be? Need to pull up the map again. I guess right up here. Oh, here. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> the boss chops died right there. And about a meter and a half away is our stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at all this great stuff. I'm glad we got it back. For real. Like, that's some really good stuff in there. Um, starting to get pretty heavy, Teresa. Okay. I understand it's not your fault. You were never meant to carry all this stuff, but, you know, I am asking you to carry it, so, you know, you do work for me. We're not friends. You work for me. All right, let's get back to base, though. For real, we need to get back to base. Safely. Without dying. Oh, we need to get that green drop, actually. I mean, need is a very specific way of saying it, but let's put on the armor pieces we need and then throw the rest overboard because they're heavy. Don't need 87 pikes or spears or whatever. Let's get Teresa some of this meat. I don't need the trophy mount. There we go. Green drop. Ooh, yeah. Let's see what you got for us, Ark. Overseer. 140 Parasaur Saddle. Some carrots. Some scissors. Man. The freaking taming. Or the freaking... Like, just the everything on this. Uh, I know that's an Ascendant Packy Saddle, but, like, come on, man. It's a Packy Saddle, you know? If you're a huge Packy stan, wow, uh, I was not trying to make a joke about the country there. I was calling, trying to call people who like Packy's stands for Packy. Oh boy. Uh, anyway, if you're a big stan for the Packies, I apologize for throwing away that saddle because you would have loved to have it. But here's the thing. I don't care. I don't like them. I'm not going to use them. And I'm the only one playing on this because it's not a server. So go get your own saddle. Capiche? Yeah, capiche. That's what I thought. Stupid stands for packies. All right. Let us get back to the base. Boy, doesn't this look familiar. Just me, my base, and a Pteranodon. What do you know? Anyway, guys, we are going to call it there. We finally made it back. We got a major upgrade to the Pteranodon. Uh, you know, rip Tracy. Rip uh, the Moss Chops. You know, that's uh, unfortunate L's. But, you know, this Teresa right here, that's a major W. So... Yeah, uh, but we are going to call it there. So if you made it this far, I very much appreciate it. And uh, we will see you in the next one.